Trump rival, Rand Paul, has been thinking a lot about who ought to get that job. And he joins us now. Senator, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me. So here are some of the names that have been floated. We just named them. Uh, in addition to uh, Romney, you had uh, former Mayor Giuliani. You also had John Bolton. Um, would you be happy with any of those three? You know, I think it's important that we or President Trump, President-elect Trump, nominate somebody who agrees with Donald Trump. Donald right. Trump spent a lot of time traveling the country saying the Iraq war was a mistake, that nation building hasn't worked or made us safer, it's very expensive, and the regime change has led to unintended consequences. That's exactly where I am. That's why I like Donald Trump, right. is that I think he recognizes Iraq war was a mistake and some of the problems. So he should appoint somebody that recognizes that. I think both Giuliani and, and and Bolton, I would call them unrepentant advocates of the Iraq war. They haven't learned any of the lessons of the Middle East, so I don't think they would represent Donald Trump very well because they don't agree with Donald Trump's positions on the Middle East. What about Mitt Romney? I think it's, I don't know as much, but I know he's been fairly hardcore about supporting the Iraq war and haven't heard anything of from Romney saying, well, he's skeptical or thinking that we should learn some lessons from that. But another reason why I think this position is very important is Donald Trump also says he wants to build our nation here at home, infrastructure. Right. You can't do nation building abroad and at home. We don't have enough money for that. So I think really you need a Secretary of State who believes nation building is too expensive overseas. You know, we put $100 billion into infrastructure in Afghanistan. We don't have the money to do that and build our roads and bridges here at home. So your Secretary of State needs to agree with Donald Trump on nation building in order to have enough money left over for domestic policy Has as well. Has there ever been a Secretary of State in American history, though, who felt that way? I mean, is it one of those jobs where mm -hmm. your views conform to the job and you find yourself identifying maybe a lot more with the concerns of other countries than you thought you would? Well, no, I think you want somebody who, uh, one, does generally agree with the worldview of the president. So I think Donald Trump's worldview has been Iraq war was a mistake, nation building doesn't work, regime change doesn't work. They may not agree completely, so you may not get a perfect clone of Donald Trump, but I think in order for Donald Trump's vision to be part of the State right. Department, he should appoint somebody who actually agrees with but Donald you, Trump. You keep saying he believed the Iraq war was a mistake, and yet we heard from the press for a year and a half that he was every bit <laughs> yeah. as implicated yeah. in the Iraq war as Hillary Clinton. Yeah, you know, sometimes the press completely gets it wrong, and this was a time where every night at home I'd be throwing things at my TV saying, why don't they get it? They kept going back to some interview you know, on Howard, Howard, Stern. On Howard yeah. Stern from 10, 15 years ago, and it's like, the point isn't exactly when he understood it, it's that he understands it now. Right. Hillary Clinton never understood it. Hillary Clinton continued to be for, she said she changed her mind on the war, but she continued to be for regime change in Libya. She continued to be for regime change in Syria. Hillary Clinton never learned the lesson of the Iraq war is that sometimes you change a regime. For example, when we got rid of Saddam Hussein, Iran became stronger. Iran is more of a menace now than they were when Saddam yes. Hussein was a counterbalance. So that was an example of regime change destabilizing a region and making us less safe. We got rid of Gaddafi, same thing in Libya. Hillary Clinton never understood that. Donald Trump did. That was a big difference, and yet the media quibbled about when he became opposed to the Iraq War, which wasn't so important as did he understand the lesson of the Iraq War. So you're saying that whoever takes this job needs to understand the lesson of the last 15 Absolutely. years of American foreign policy, but I wonder, does the Republican establishment in Washington understand it? So we're going to see who's chosen Secretary of State, but he'll have a massive staff beneath him, most of them Republicans from D.C., the foreign policy establishment. Right. Have they internalized the lessons? Well, the interesting thing is uh, his pick for National Security Advisor, uh, General Flynn, yes. has said that the historical lesson is that the Iraq War was a strategic failure. So there are people, even from the military, there were many people, you know, in Hillary Clinton's book, many of the generals, other than Petraeus, but many of the generals were saying, you know, regime change isn't going to work in Syria. We're taking our eye off of ISIS because we're getting too involved with trying right. to replace Assad. Petraeus sided with Clinton, of course, so I don't think he really gets the lesson either. But if you look at Hillary Clinton's book about it, she was all for regime change. You know, we got to get rid of Assad. So was Petraeus. But many of the other generals in the region at the time were actually opposed to regime change. So if you were to boil down the purpose of America's foreign policy to a refrigerator magnet you would give to Donald Trump to look at every morning as he pulled his orange juice out of the fridge, what would it say? Defend America. 
defend America. Yeah, and so the thing is, is there also is a difference between the Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of State. The Secretary of Defense has to have us prepared. We have to have the strongest, mightiest military that says, don't ever mess with us. But the Secretary of State needs to be a diplomat that tries to look for solutions other than war. Right. So, for example, if I were contrasting John Bolton with anybody else on the planet, I would say almost everybody else on the planet is more likely to advocate for war being the last resort, where I, was wor I would worry that John Bolton would advocate for war being the first resort. So it's John Bolton versus, as you put it, everyone else on the planet. Everyone that else does on the not planet sound like a ring in. Everyone John else on the Bolton. planet comes in ahead of John Bolton. Okay. Okay. So. Senator Rand Paul, headed off to dinner with John Bolton. Great to see you. Thanks.